In addition to setting diamonds, polishing wheels, we also can use this to set pre-cuts. With a corner breaker or pre-cut on the OG, we load the 45 degree diamond. And now we can see visually how close we can get that position without having to guess or run multiple times. We can also see that as the wheel wears, we can adjust this in up or down. And we are set and ready to roll. Once we're done, we can save this. And we have free control, what we call it, the date, the shape. We save that information. Now here's the most important part. Once we have this information, we have all the machining radiuses set. All we simply have to do is click the icon, and all of that information is now stored in the wrong position because I called it the wrong tool numbers. We measure number four, the fourth diamond. We have freehand control to set it. And we also have pitch control to fine tune our adjustment, how we break onto the surface, how we roll the bullnose over. Once we like the shape, we account for the material sacrifice, select the tool, which in this case we've set in our sequence as tool number 14, and there's the shape we're going to end up with. And we simply load number three, work backwards in the sequence. Here we account for the material removal. It drops it right on the previous line and we can work within the two tenths of a millimeter tolerance that we have for the tool. Up, down, and adjusting this. Notice we're doing this visually. We're not using a crayon and marking stone. Confirm the tool in the sequence, which in this case is number 13. And there you can see what's going to be removed by your number four diamond. Number three will work to the yellow line. Number four will work to the green. Then we load number two. Measure it and go through the same process. Check our tolerance. Four tenths, one, two, three tenths of a millimeter. Confirm this is number 12 and load number one. And it's key in this part because the number one diamond does all of the working. It's very key after we load this tool that we check the measurement of this. Typically for number one, we're gonna see a lot of wear in this 